Hey folks, um, Mike Rogers, RB Angler here. Um, let's show you what I do on maintenance on the trailer. Um, every uh, about every six months, I take a I take it apart. I check my raceways and my my bearings to make sure they're uh, they're all fine. Uh, in between, about every four months, so it's three times a year, uh, sometimes twice, depending how hectic my schedule gets. Um, I'll replace the. Uh, uh, the oil in it now my boat has oil bath bearings uh, not the greased ones um, very simple job to do um, <clears throat> this time that's what all I'm doing is replacing the oil and you'll see that it's pretty dark and I've already started the process here by taking off the wheel and and loosening the nut but um, you can see it there uh, and with the allen the proper allen wrench and stuff you undo this nut And you turn this upside down and you let it drain. And as you can see, um, the oil that I've got in there is pretty dark, um, which is a good thing. I mean, it's, it's doing its job. Uh, when you see that milky color, and that means you've got water inside your bearings there, and, and you should replace that immediately. Um, don't wait for it. Um, so far, all mine are uh, doing just fine. I've got that nice, dark, rich oil. And if you wanted to, you can pop off your buddy hub here. Um, I would use a, a soft mallet of some sort uh, so you don't damage it uh, and then you can clean the window out which uh, I've done and uh, replacing the oil is, uh, is simple uh, turn that back up again and I always clean things up and then I get my oil in this case I'm using the Lucas oil it's a hub oil with um, synthetic with a blend uh, seems to do real well and I just take my time on filling this up otherwise you cause air bubbles and if you do you just take the long end of your allen wrench and stick it down in there and break the bubble and do it again now there are some sites and some people say that you only fill this thing up about three quarters so you have a a line a visible line right here I've tried that at the beginning of the years um, uh, the air bubble and I find that the, the bearings heat up, so I don't do it. Um, I fill it all the way up. And then uh, once you're done with it, once you're done with it, you just reverse the process. You put your um, Allen wrench screw on there and tighten it all down and you're good to go you got uh, new oil in there um, uh, when I when I look at the bearings on that the next time up which is going to be about another two months or three um, then I pull out everything and clean everything out and the boot bears and then I add all the new oil. So it's the same process. It's just, this one's just quicker and simpler because all you're doing is changing oil and then you put your wheel back on and, uh, and you're good to go. Um, don't neglect your trailer, your hubs and stuff. It's a very important part. You won't be able to fish if you don't do this. So um, when I'm done with this, I'll crawl under the boat and I check my, um, uh, I don't know, what do you call them? The, the uh, boat, the uh, boat, uh, carriers underneath um, uh, to make sure all my bolts are up on there tight because sometimes they loosen out when you're on the road and uh, and then I'm uh, put it all back together and you're good to go hope it helps you out don't forget it